this week on Outdoor Bound TV. Join us as we follow father and son, Alan and Shannon Grew, as they travel to the mountains of Alberta, Canada. While Alan tracks down the ever-elusive Alberta mule deer, Shannon finds out that Canadian whitetail offer just as much hunting excitement as the whitetail in his home state of Wisconsin. There's a fish. We got him. Look at that. Nice buck. Did you get that one? Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Colby Chrysler Center. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. Canada Outdoor Adventures, professionally outfitted hunting trips from Canada, New Zealand, and beyond. Hi, I'm Shannon from Colby, Wisconsin. Stay tuned while my father and I head to the mountains of Alberta for whitetail mule deer on Outdoor Bound TV. Offering professionally guided, all-inclusive packages, Canada Outdoor Adventures is a U.S.-based company specializing in great hunting adventures in Alberta, British Columbia, New Zealand, and beyond. Whether you're seeking that trophy of a lifetime, planning a hunt for you or your group, or taking your son or daughter on their first adventure, let Canada Outdoor Adventures handle all the details for you. To contact a pro staff member near you, visit our website, Canada Outdoor Adventures, the adventure of a lifetime. Conceptual design, quality printing, and custom applications. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Over 20 years of professional service and experience. Pro Designs in Medford, from original concept to finished product. Get the recognition your business deserves. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. At Kobe Chrysler Center, we know you have more important things to do than worry about your car. So let us take care of you. Whether you need routine maintenance or need a major repair, we are not just fixing your car. We are helping you get back to the things that matter to you. When it comes time for a new car, we'll be there, giving you the biggest selection with no pressure or red tape. If you're looking for a used car, know that our stock comes from people we know, people just like you. At Kobe Chrysler, it's all about making you feel at home and ready to hit the road. Welcome home to Kobe Chrysler. Kurt, we got your new Dodge truck all serviced up, ready to go hunting up to Alberta. Good luck hunting. Thanks a lot, Darren. I appreciate it. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. Darren and the guys here at Colby Chrysler Center have just finished servicing our truck because we're headed to Alberta, Canada. Now, we're going with Shannon Grew and his dad, Alan, from Colby, Wisconsin. They're going after mule deer and whitetail high in the mountains. Now, this is a late November hunt, so the weather's going to be cold and the snow's going to be deep. But let's check up with them right now. Hi, I'm Shannon from Colby, Wisconsin. The hunting thing is kind of all in my in my blood and in my family, it's real important. My son Carter and I spend a lot of time in the woods together, squirrel hunting, sitting in a tree stand together. Got a little baby girl, she's a year old, we call her Baby Hemi. Spending a lot of time in the outdoors with my family reminded me that I didn't get to spend a lot of time with my father, you know, his profession's a truck driver, he's always on the road driving, that I wanted to go back and create some of those memories. Oh, I've been driving truck. See, I think I started in 85 for an implement dealer, pulling wide loads and, you know, low boy type stuff. And then I went uh, to dry vans and weather shield, hauled windows for about 10 years. And now I'm hauling produce back to Wisconsin from California and the cheese out there to California. They don't make good cheese out there, so they got to import it from us here in Wisconsin, which is great, you know, for our economy, it sure helps. So that's how this Hunt Alberta all came about. Thinking about uh, spending some one-on-one -on -one time together with my dad, um, getting out on the road, you know, you're locked in a car for a 24-hour drive to Alberta, you're locked in a car for a 24-hour drive back from Alberta, <laughs> and then you're there for five days to hunt deer together. And I had a chauffeur all the way up and back, you know. <laughs> Got to ride my son's new pickup. You know, life is short. You never know when 
or what's gonna happen or be thrown your way and life is gonna change and you might not ever be able to enjoy these things again and then you're always gonna think back and wonder, boy, you know, I wish I would've did that, I wish I would've done that and, you know, I really don't uh, wanna live the rest of my life thinking that way. I'm out on the road 300, some, some years I've been out as much as 326 days a year and you miss a lot with your family growing up, you know, and, and that's why this hunt up in Alberta was real important to me because it was something my son and I could do together that probably should have been done when he was a teenager. So I was looking very, very forward to spending this time with my dad because we've never really uh, went on a hunting trip together where just the two of us go, you know. And, you know, thinking about this in the back of my head, um, as soon as my son Carter turns 12, we're going to be doing the same thing. You know, it's tracking deer together here that we shoot here on our property here uh, together. He's, he talks about that stuff all the time. And, you know, I just want to grow those memories um, with my family together. Because, like I said, you never know when life can change and you might not have that chance to have those memories anymore. He's been up and down the road for millions and millions of miles. Probably got three and a half million miles. And I thought, you know, I need to do something with my dad before it gets to the point where I can't do it anymore. Um, so I called him up one day and I says, hey, we should go on a hunt. And I think I know a really good place to go. So we booked a trip to Alberta, Canada for mule deer and whitetail for both of us. You take your son hunting. And what greater memory can either of you have? than a hunting trip. Uh, like I said, my dad spends, uh, spends all his time behind the wheel of a semi. Tour in the countryside. Sees a lot of country, but it's always from inside that truck. So this time he's getting to see some country from outside the truck. We left Thanksgiving morning. Uh, the drive out was great. It started off <laughs> actually a little on the bad side. Uh, left here in the morning, went to pick up my father, Alan, and I get to his house. He gets in the truck, and of course, you know, I'm just instinctively, I want to make sure that my dad's got everything. So I'm like, hey, you got your hunting gear, you got your gun, you got a little extra money. He says, yep, even got my passport. And I says, oh, I need to go back home. <laughs> I forgot my passport. So. Good thing he checked up on me as well. <laughs> as you're rolling up in Alberta, the sun's starting to come up, and you're, you're, you're driving to farmland, you know. So he's, he's driving along, he's talking about, he says, boy, I hope that the ground's a little flatter like this where we're going a little bit, you know. <laughs> so, well, you know, it's gonna change a little bit, you know, and as we started rolling along, you can see the mountains are getting bigger, and more timbers coming along. We get up to where our, to Nordic, Alberta, where we're hunting, and the, there's some pretty good sized mountains there, you know, a lot of snow caps, you can see the tree line all over. We rolled into camp, it had a really nice camp. Everybody there that was, was very super friendly. We're on our first morning of the hunt. Uh, we're up at 5 a.m. We get all our get quick light breakfast, we all load up in the truck and we're driving up to our hunting area, right? We come around this corner, all of a sudden, there they are. There was four does, and this uh, mule deer, it was a four by four with eye guards. And uh, stopped and picked up my binoculars. I looked at them like, yeah, that's a real nice shooter. Deep forks, it's, it, it's a nice deer. So dad, get out and get this deer, you know? So <laughs> parked the truck and started creeping up the road. Real easy walk for him. <laughs> Everything that he needed to happen is happening. And I'm just standing back by the truck, watching the whole thing unfold smiling ear to ear and uh, just so happy that he can experience this. You know, he just kind of snuck up and we waited and waited, didn't make sure he was spooking the does by any means at all. And
the road for us. <laughs> I was hoping. <laughs> Good job. I was hoping. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Duffers, getting old. There he is. Woo. So what do you think? He's a nice man. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Big neck, big head. It's a nice beard. Yeah, we're we'll about 180, huh? Top of your everything I expected and more. Good job. Nice shot. Thank well you. done. Well done. Thank you. First morning out, we found this one and decided to take him because he's got some nice deep horn here and having a heck of a good day for an old duffer. I guess now we'll have to get this thing down off the mountain. Mule deer. It's a great chance to experience a, a hunt with a family member that yep. that's uh, important to, to do. Yep. It, uh, you never know when uh, times or days like this will ever come again. Or to... Too bad we didn't have grandson here to track it, huh? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> These are blood trail tracker back home in Wisconsin, so he's good at it. It's the last week in November. Uh, we're in Alberta. We're mule deer hunting. The rut is full on. This uh, buck came out with six or seven does. Uh, you can tell he wasn't going to leave those does. He was hot on them. There was one that was uh, that must have been rutting pretty hard, ready to go. And uh, we spotted this deer and we sized him up a little bit. He got some really deep forks, nice brow tines. Um, here with my father, we're from uh, Allen Grew, from Unity, Wisconsin. Uh, it's my father's first mule deer hunt. His first day out, his first morning out, he's pretty lucky. So uh, we'll have to keep him with us all the rest of the week here. Maybe he can bring us some more luck. Harvested deer, a really nice five by five mule deer. So it's the biggest mule deer my father's ever harvested. I'm very proud of it. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna end up on the wall at home and the meat will end up in the freezer, that's for sure. And there'll be hunting stories coming for years on end. So we need this on footage to make sure everything's true. <laughs> yeah, cause I know somebody ad libs once right, in a while. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. Congratulations, dad. All right, thanks son. Even wishing you could go on a trip like this, go. Take your kid and go. Have some fun in life, create some memories that you know can never be taken away from you. You've always got it. And you can always think about it. Pictures, you can look back at it, enjoy it all over again. It's I don't know, I'll be thinking about it all the times I'm driving the truck here late at night and so forth. Cause... My father uh, uh, had the opportunity to harvest a 4x4 mule deer with eye guards. And he made a great shot. And uh, I think that really made the hunt for him. He's got a lot of memories that are going to last for a long time. He uh, was smiling all week about it. It was a great hunt.
Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Hi everyone, we'd like to see your photos of the animals that you harvest this year. If you'd like to have them included on the show, log on to our website and click on the submit video button. It'll give you all the instructions right there. So now it's up to me and now it's my turn, you know. So we spent the rest of the day doing a lot of scouting, a lot of glassing, and uh, we saw some animals and it's the second day of camp, you know, I mean, there's there's five days of hunting here yet going. So we're down in the low area and uh, we snuck in 100 or so yards and we were just kind of, we walked in the first little bit and we just started glassing. And uh, my guide and I, Ron, we spotted this deer off in the brush a little bit. And, and you can see him coming up through the brush and uh, started eyeballing with the binoculars and such. He's probably 150 yards or so away, 175 yards or so away at this time. And we're looking at him and you could see he's pretty tall. You can see that he's heavy, but he wasn't for sure exactly how wide he was. You know, he wouldn't really give us a look. He's just staring right down at us, you know. And you can tell he's kind of comfortable yet. He's not gonna run or bolt right now. So you know, he's just staring us down. And we looked at him and we looked at him and, and I asked Ron's opinion what he thought. And he says, you know, it looks like a pretty nice buck. Uh, I just wish he could turn his head so we can get a real good look at him, you know? And, and I agree, you know, I, I couldn't quite see everything that I wanted to see typically. Uh, we kind of snuck up through the brush. We got a tree in between him and us. Got down low and eased on up in there and then I snuck around a tree and had a nice dead uh, branch there for me to lay my rifle on, a real good rest. We were at this point maybe 125, 140 yards from him roughly. Still looking at us, still just staring at us. So, you know, really not a lot of movement you can do or anything like that. So I kind of got ready and I just waited and kept watching him and watching him. Got him lined up in a scope and facing me, staring at us, dead on. He started to relax a little bit and turned one way to feed. And then he turned the other way, it looked like he was going to take off. Go ahead, go ahead. He's down. Good shooting, he's down. Congratulations. Nice shot. That's a nice deer. That's a nice buck. Tall. Well, shall we go have a look? That's that's three and a half year old, maybe four and a half year old deer. That's a nice deer. That's a very nice deer. That's a nice Alberta whitetail right there. So he turned a little bit and I made the shot right behind the front shoulder. To me, it looked like a great shot. I swear I saw the impact in the scope. Uh, a couple of jumps and he was gone. Really tall buck. Uh, looks like a three and a half year old deer, maybe a four and a half year old deer. The white tails are pretty wily up here, just like they are back home in Wisconsin. It stood there for a few minutes and let us look at it for a little while, and you can tell it's starting to get a little anxious. So, uh, just kind of eyeballing it up in the scope a little bit, just taking one last look at it one more time, and it's really tall, uh, and it started to turn. And right when it turned, I buried it right behind the front shoulder. Looked like a fantastic shot. Um, she buckled, she did a death jump. We saw it take off two, two leaps and then we lost it. So 
we'll give it here a few minutes and then we're gonna go in there and we're gonna bring that bad boy home. At that point, you know, we decided, well, let's go see if we got blood. You know, it's right there. If we don't find any blood, we'll just let them sit for a couple hours, come back and check them again. We don't want to push them any further if we didn't make a good shot. So walked over there and uh, to about where he was and we're kind of searching around through all the brush. And I mean, it's tall, it's 10 foot brush, you know, so you can't see too far all over. And we're walking around, walking around, and lo and behold, there it is. I see a big spot of blood and... A ton of blood right here. We followed the blood trail, we crossed the creek, climbed up the bank. Uh, we're still following the blood trail, and uh, then all of a sudden, Ron says, hey, I see horns railing right over there. You know, he wasn't, wasn't probably, he probably didn't go 60 yards. And there he was. Good ass, huh? <laughs> Ooh, oh, better than we thought. Look at that, huh? Look at that shot. That's a beauty. Congratulations, That's Shannon. That's a nice deer. That's a dandy. That's a nice deer. Look at that, huh? Look at the nice oh, high points. Look at the brow tines on it. It's got some mass. That's a four and a half year old deer. That's for sure. Maybe, maybe five, huh? Yeah, I would think. That's a heavy deer. He's still grown. He's mature. That's heavy deer. Right there. Nice shot. Right where she was going. Yeah, when he started to turn and look back and looked like he was getting wily and run away. That's when I let her fly. I didn't wait. He wasn't going to stick around much longer. No, we had seconds. I think he got a little wider since I shot him. I think you might be right. <laughs> I think he did, actually. I, I seriously didn't, he didn't look that, he was quite didn't look wide. that wide. I thought he was maybe 16 inches, but geez, he's, that's a solid 18 there, I think, hey? That's because he's so high that that's... Don't you think? That, yeah. It's the last week of November. We're in Alberta, Canada. The rut is on. Uh, my father and I are up here hunting whitetail and mule deer. My dad shot a really nice mule deer yesterday, four by four. And I told him he's our good luck charm, so uh, he brought me a little luck. So talking about it all morning we figured all the deer have come down low in the smaller trees uh, grassy lower areas like this and um, so we came down out of the mountain had some lunch we said it was time to go out hunting again so we went walked in maybe 100 yards or so and we spotted this deer and uh, he's looking at us and looking at us we watched him for about a minute maybe a minute and a half and he's looking at us straight on and he turns his head and starts to walk away and come back and kind of went right there behind his shoulder right as he was turning uh nice four by four whitetail really heavy it's at least a half maybe a maybe five and a half year old really heavy it's a palmation dark chocolate horns look like they're 23 inch main beams really tall brow tines. It's a great hunt. It's a great hunt. Two days, two deer. Big buck down in Alberta. Holding that set of horns in your hand and uh, enjoying that with my father, Alan. Um, those are memories that uh, everybody wants to have for the rest of their life. And uh, that the animal turned out to be better than I even expected um, is a bonus. To have your son or daughter shoot a real nice deer up there you know that scores say 150 points or better I mean that or that would be the icing on the birthday cake you might as well say it just would really imprint that trip in their minds you know and it was a great great trip Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Colby Chrysler Center. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. Canada Outdoor Adventures, professionally outfitted hunting trips from Canada, New Zealand and beyond. At Colby Chrysler Center, we know you have more important things to do than worry about your car. So let us take care of you. 
Whether you need routine maintenance or need a major repair, we are not just fixing your car. We are helping you get back to the things that matter to you. When it comes time for a new car, we'll be there, giving you the biggest selection with no pressure or red tape. If you're looking for a used car, know that our stock comes from people we know, people just like you. At Kobe Chrysler, it's all about making you feel at home and ready to hit the road. Welcome home to Kobe Chrysler. Conceptual design, quality printing, and custom applications. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Over 20 years of professional service and experience. Pro Designs in Medford, from original concept to finished product. Get the recognition your business deserves. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Offering professionally guided, all-inclusive packages, Canada Outdoor Adventures is a U.S.-based company specializing in great hunting adventures in Alberta, British Columbia, New Zealand, and beyond. Whether you're seeking that trophy of a lifetime, planning a hunt for you or your group, or taking your son or daughter on their first adventure, let Canada Outdoor Adventures handle all the details for you. To contact a pro staff member near you, visit our website, Canada Outdoor Adventures, the adventure of a lifetime. Next week on Outdoor Bound TV. We return to the South Island of New Zealand with my good friend Brian Hartman of Wasilla, Alaska. Now Brian is going to be hunting fallow deer. And later, I get to take a break from guiding and outfitting to head high into the beautiful mountains in search of the Himalayan tar. Hi, I'm Shannon. This is what do you want me to say? <laughs> Dodge Ram Chrysler Dodge and Jeep vehicles? That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> this is my big buck. If you'd like to see your big buck on here, go to Outdoor Bound TV. Let me start over. Mm, yeah. How's that? And, um... Man. <sighs> You're run out of tape. We're out of here. <laughs> <laughs>